fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. Certain law enforcement of the pioneer days of the Western United States brought forth a new champion to the cause of justice, a phantom figure of the plains who fought crime and injustice wherever he found it. His daring deeds will never be forgotten. And now, as the hoofs of his great horse Silver thunder down the trail of adventure once more, we live again the exciting days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. riding down the trail to meet his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, when suddenly a heavy-set man stepped forward and blocked his way. The stranger held up his right hand in a gesture to stop. Oh, hold there, Silver Boy. Oh. Hey, reckon you're the man I'm waiting for. What are you waiting for me for? It's all right. I can prove I'm Butch Larson. If that's what you want to know. I don't care whether you prove you're Butch Larson or not. What do you want? I heard you was pretty slick. Ain't no one puts anything over on you, is there? <laughs> I'm just here to tell you the plans are all set. The boys are waiting at the North Pass till Captain Carter comes by. What do you plan to do with Captain Carter? <laughs> As if you didn't know. The boss told you what the plans was, didn't he? Just what are the plans, Butch? He's going to get those papers from the captain. Uh, you're the man that's to pay for them, ain't that so? How much am I expected to pay? Well, I don't know nothing about that. You and the boys fix that up between you. The boys didn't know if you knew Captain Carter or not, so he put me here to steer you off the other way so you wouldn't have to see him. He uh, said you might come masked. I see. The idea is for a couple of the boys to capture Carter when he goes through the North Pass. They'll hold him till he sends for his dispatch box. When it's brought, the army plans will be in it. Captain Carter would like to hear about this, Butch. Put your hands up. What the Sam Hill? What does this mean? It means you're going with me. You're going to talk to Captain Carter and tell him about this plan to kidnap him. Why Keep you... your hands up. I'll take that gun of yours. So you're planning to steal military secrets from the garrison, huh? And you ain't the man to buy the papers? We'll talk that over later. No, we won't. Just drop that gun, stranger. Drill him, Steve. Drill the critter. I said drop that gun. Hurry it up or I'll let you have it. No, you won't. Oh, my gun hand. Come on, Silver. Get him, Steve. Get him. Shut my gun away. Hi, Silver. Hi. Get him, Butch. Drop him on that saddle. I'm going to. 
Shoot again. He's traveling fast. Oh, blast it. It's no use. You can't get him. Oh, what do you make of this? I thought sure he was the man we was waiting for. Huh? Just because he rid a white horse and wore two guns. You blame fool you. Well, how'd I know? He was wearing a mask. The boss said the man that buys the information would likely come mask. And now what are we going to do? Hmm? We ain't going to do nothing but wait here until the right man comes along. That hombre must have been an outlaw. No one else would wear a mask. No one else would shoot that fast. Anyhow, if he's an outlaw, he won't go squealing on us. He just kind of want to keep out of sight or they wouldn't wear a mask. Yeah, here's hoping. Rat it, my hand stings from the force of his bullet. Too bad we ain't a few like him in our gang. <laughs> After his lightning escape, the Lone Ranger swept down the trail without pausing until he reached the small, well-hidden camp where Tonto waited for him. There, the masked man brought Silver to a rearing halt. Come on, Tonto. Get your horse and ride with me. Here, white fella. We've got to circle back and stop Captain Carter before he reaches the North Pass. Uh, Tonto, ready. Hey, oh, Get up, hey, oh, For some reason, Kimo Sabe, those outlaws plan to capture the officer and hold him until they can get that dispatch case. What? What pen want? I don't know what it holds, but there are plans of some sort. Someone wants them badly. There's soldier coming this way. Yes. I'm in army clothes. Traveling alone, too. And it must be Captain Carter. We'll intercept him, Tonto. Come on, Silver! Captain Carter! No, Don't open fire! We want to speak to you! Stand up, Carter, or I'll rope you! Get up here! Get up! Let go of that right, or I'll kill you! Do not shoot him! Pew! Oh, oh boy! Oh. You'll hang for this! He take him down! You! That's it, Tonto! Oh, oh, boy! Oh. Just what's the meaning of this? I want to warn you that men are lying in wait for you in North Pass. What does that mask mean? Not what you think it does. In fact, I'm going to remove it and disguise myself to look like you. What? I'm also going to borrow your horse and uniform. You are not your... You'll have nothing to say about it, Captain Carter. Who I hope you'll you? agree to let me help you. If you don't, I'm going to help you anyway. What are you because talking about? Because it's our government that might be in danger. Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter. I'm talking about certain plans you have in the garrison in a dispatch case. How do you know about them? I was mistaken for the man who wanted them stolen. They can't be stolen. They're in safe... In a safe place. They might be turned over to you if you sent for them. I wouldn't. To save yourself unheard of torture? I think you would, Carter. If you didn't, the schemers would forge your name to an official order. But who are you? And what's your interest in this? I want to find out who's plotting against our government. I haven't time to talk any longer, Carter. We're going to change clothes, and Tonto's going to help me disguise myself to resemble you. The men in North Pass will be getting anxious. The man they're waiting for doesn't come soon. Cloud of dust ahead, Snake. I reckon that's our man. Good enough, Nate. It's about time he showed up. Yeah, that's him, all right. The boys had it right about him coming this way. Butch and Steve was to meet the other fella. He sent word that he'd come masked. Wonder who he is. Well, that's the difference who he is, so long as he pays us. Well, there ain't none. Better get ready. The captain's getting close. Yeah, what'll we do? Shoot the horse from under him? No. Get him too riled, and he might be hard to handle. He'll stop when he sees two guns held steady on him. He better. If he don't, we'll take after him with the horses and shoot his horse down. I'd sooner not if we can avoid it. Get ready now, Nate. I'll fire a shot in the air. Yeah. Come on there. Get up. Stand where you are. Oh, oh, there. Make a move and we'll plug you. Elevate your hand, soldier. What's the meaning of this? Never mind the question. I got the rope ready. Put it on him. You can't do this. Who says so? Pull that rope tight. I'm doing that same. Nate Merton and Snake Hanson, huh? Both of you wanted by the law. Yeah, what about it? 
We've been wanted by the law for a mighty long time. Only the law ain't fast enough to get us. I suppose Stephen Butts are close by. Yeah, there, soldier. How do you know so much? What did you stop me for? You'll find out. Got his gun, Nate? Yep. Carbine and six gun. Where are you taking me? I'll show you. And I'll guarantee one thing, Carter. The rock we travel on won't show no trail, you savvy. Very well. You have the whip hand for the present. And another thing, Captain Carter. You get hard to handle and you'll see how rough we can be. Fetch the horses, Nate. Yeah, I'll get them. We ain't far to go, Captain. We're going to have to head you to the cave in no time at all. Here we are, Snake. Yeah. Get aboard. Keep an eye on the captain and a hold on the end of this rope. If he tries to prod his horse to get away, you'll be jerked off the saddle. Uh, why don't you tell him uh, who you'll see in the cave? Then I reckon he won't try to get away. <laughs> yeah. I suppose you rid through the pass to meet your daughter over to Fargo, eh? What about her? Well, right now, Sally's in the cave, hoping you'll come there pronto and do what you're told to do. Have you captured her? <laughs> How do you think we got her? Now, come on. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. had disguised himself to appear like Captain Carter. Now he permitted himself to be led by the outlaws. He was taken inside a large cave where the two outlaws he had met before were waiting. It was Snake who assumed command. Now then, Captain Carter, I suppose you know why you was brought here. Why? You got a dispatch case in your quarters. We want it and everything that's in it, savvy? And if you don't get it? Well, that'd be just tough on you. You won't get it, Snake. No? We'll see. Steve, Butch, you two put that brand and iron in the fire and get it red hot. Right. That won't take long. You won't get that dispatch case by torturing me. Maybe not, Captain Carter. But I reckon torturing your daughter will. That's where you're mistaken. Uh, you must have thought some girl in town was my daughter. Well, you're wrong. Yeah? Well, maybe you got the idea that we're bluffing about having the girl here. Fetch her out, Nate. All right, Snake. Come on there, Miss Sally. Take the gag out in her mouth so she can talk to her old man. Yeah, there you are. That's not my daughter. Torturing her won't make me send for that dispatch case. No? You beast, you dirty... I don't know. Ain't this your pa? No. Why, no, it isn't. That isn't my father. You see? <laughs> That's a good act you're both putting on. But we'll see. You got that iron hot yet? That isn't Captain Carter. He couldn't sign anything. You haven't my father there. Hear the girl talk. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, miss. You're sure a smart one. It'd be too bad to burn a pretty face like yours. But I'm afraid that unless that hombre signs what we want, that's what'll happen. You don't stop at anything, do you, Snake? No. How do I know that you'll let us go if I do send for the dispatch case? You don't. You can bet your bottom dollar that the girl will suffer if you don't send for it. How can you get it if I write an order? I'll write for the gas and my own self. If I ain't back with it in two hours' time, the boys will have their orders what to do. You're savvy what that'll mean, don't you? The branding iron is hot, Steve. Hand it here. <gasps> How do you like the looks of that? Wait. Well, have you made up your mind? I warn you, Snake. My writing to the garrison won't do you any good. Well... I'll take my chances on that. Very well. Then put down that branding iron. I'll write a note to the garrison. <laughs> I thought I'd bring you to time. Here's paper and pencil. Write that note and I'll deliver it. And remember, if I ain't back in two hours, that branding iron will get heated up all over again. I'll write your note for you. <laughs> and he said he wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. A band of outlaws planned to capture Captain Carter and force the delivery of certain army plans in exchange for his release. The Lone Ranger assumed a disguise and took the captain's place. 
The outlaws had already taken the captain's daughter prisoner and threatened her with torture if a note were not written to the fort authorizing the delivery of the plans. As our next scene opens, we see Tonto and the real Captain Carter. They are hiding near the trail leading to the army garrison. I declare this mask fits me as well as it does your tall friend. Uh, no, you look like outlaw. What's that, Indian? Why should I look any more like an outlaw than your friend? You got a beard. It show under mask. Well, that can't be helped. I wish that messenger from the outlaws would get here. There's no other way for him to come, is there? No. This only way. The risky scheme your friend outlined, Tonto. I hope it works. Uh, here comes a rider. Maybe that's the man we want. You've got note? Yes. The note's all ready. You be careful with this feller. I'll try not to let him see me substitute my note for the one he has. You give him order to men at port? I told you when I got back from there that the men agreed to do just what I told them. Mm, that, that good. Get ready, Tonto. Tonto ready. I'm not used to stopping riders at the point of a gun. Me show you. You stand them still. Pull up your horse and reach. You're covered. Oh, oh, there. Oh, oh, there. What's this mean? Where are you heading, stranger? Get him off, horse. I'll see you blasted before I do. Get him down. Stop and grab it. Down, stranger. We want to look you over. What sort of stick-up is this, anyway? Keep him covered. I'll go through his pockets. I ain't nothing worth robbing. Leave me alone. I'm on official business. What do you mean, official business? I'm heading for the fort. And if you interfere with me, you'll have the whole blame army on your neck. What's this? It's a message I'm taking to the fort. And you'd better let it alone. Well, I'll look it over. You turn your back this way. This blame country seems overrun with masked men. You turn. All right, all right. I'm doing what you say. This is army business. You're a messenger to the fort. I told you I was. You'll get yourself in all kinds of trouble interfering with the army's dispatches. Signed by Captain Carter. Sure it is. Oh, this wrong color, maybe. Yeah, take your note and get on your way. You're not the man we want. I told you that when you stopped me. I'm not meddling with any army affairs. I don't like federal prisons. <coughs> Better give me back that shooting iron, hadn't you, mister? I'll take it. But keep going and don't turn back if you don't want to stop lead. <laughs> get up there. Get up there. Come on. Plenty good. I gave him the note with my signature on it. Isn't mm, that good? No. We watch trail. He ought to be coming back this way in a little while. Uh, we wait here. Snake Anson was thoroughly convinced that Tonto and Captain Carter were only outlaws. He then continued on his way to the fort. When he arrived there, he presented the note and was given the dispatch case. You'll have to take the whole dispatch case with you. That's all right. That's what I'm here for. The captain has the key. No one else can open it. Yeah, that's all right. He'll open it when he gets it. Here you are, sir. And give the captain the regards of the garrison. Sure, sure thing. Pardon me, sir, but he didn't say how long he was going to visit his daughter, did he? Nope. Can't tell how long he'll visit. He might stay away for longer than he expects. Very well, sir. In the meantime... In the cave of the outlaws, the Lone Ranger continued his impersonation of Captain Carter. He sat next to Sally, speaking in low tones that the outlaws near the mouth of the cave could not overhear. We learned of the plan to capture your father. And you took his place. But, but what did you do it for? When these men get the dispatch box, they'll want to kill us both. That's what I'm afraid of. But they don't know the real contents of that box. It... It's papers. Secret papers of some sort. Yes. But that isn't all. 
Your father had to be free to give orders at the fort. What sort of orders? You'll see later on. Quiet now. A couple of the men are coming back this way. As soon as we get the box and papers, we fire three fast shots out the cave. Oh, that's so the buyer will know we got them, huh? Yeah. And he'll come here with the cash. We don't want the captain there to see who he is till we're done using the captain. You hear that, Carter? I suppose you'll murder us when you have what you want. What else? You don't think you're going free to make trouble for us, do you? Who's the man who's paying you for this? Oh, Shut up, mate. We ain't to tell a thing until we're sure he ain't pulled no slick trick on us. It'll be too darn bad if he has. Yeah. For the sake of the girl, Captain, you better be on the level with that note. Why? If anyone is following Snake, when he gets back, we'll know it, Savvy. And if that's the case, the first shot hits the girl. Ain't it about time Snake was getting back? Yeah. Hey, Butch. Any sign of Snake yet? No. I wonder, Captain, if you was fool enough to send a fake note. Two hours was the time allowed. Well, Snake's had most two hours. You ought to be getting back. If he don't get here... Maybe I'd better heat that brand and iron and have it ready, huh, Steve? Go ahead. <laughs> I'd as most as soon Snake didn't get back till after the two-hour limit. If he ain't, we don't get paid off. Sure we do if he gets back at all. If he ain't here in two hours, then he won't be getting back. It'll mean that some smart trick was done. He was held by the soldiers in the fort. Hey, Butch! Yeah? No sign of soldiers coming here, is there? Ain't no sign of anyone coming here yet. If you see soldiers coming, let me know. We'll use this brand and iron. You... <laughs> Go on, miss. Let's see you get real riled about it. <laughs> no, I, I won't give you the satisfaction. You won't hear a whimper out of me, no matter what you do. Hey, boys. The boss is coming. Oh. You got a dispatch case with him? Yep. He's got it all right. You sure was easy to handle, Captain. It surprised me no end. Was I? I didn't think you'd do what was wanted so easy. Hi there. Everything all right? All right, Snake. Well, I got it. Take care of the horse for me. I'll do it. How's the prisoners behave? Too darn good. I wish they'd cause some trouble so as we could have had a little fun. There's a case. But there's a lock on it. You better have the key, Captain, if you know what's good for you. Suppose I haven't the key. Yeah, that'll be just too bad. I don't hanker to bust that lock. There's a trick to using the key. You couldn't open that box if you had it. Well, you can. Not with my hands tied. Untie his hands, but watch him close. Right. Here's a knife. I'll cut the rope. <sighs> had me bound so tight, my hands are numb. Stop stalling and get that box unlocked. Give me a chance to rub my hands. <laughs> Hurry it up. I'm anxious to see what's inside. You'll see in just a minute. What about it, Snake? Should I fire the signal shots? No. We was told not to fire them till we had the papers in our hands. We ain't taking no chances on not getting paid for this job. How long is it going to take him to get ready to open that box? What about it, Carter? I'm ready. Let me have it. Ah. It's one of these keys. Don't you know which one? What's he stolen for, anyhow? I don't know. But... Take a sharp look and see if there's any sign of soldiers coming this way. They might have got suspicious and followed me. All right, Snake. I got something to tell you boys about a stick-up man I met with. After we get done here. Hmm. Maybe the same one we seen. Maybe so. He was masked and there was a white horse nearby. That's him. Bearded? Hmm, not when I seen him. I don't see no sign of anyone coming. What about that box now? I'm getting it. Well, hurry it up. Yeah. I'll get the papers you wanted. They're in a special part here. Uh-huh. But first, stick your hands up. What the? Oh, my hand. Go on, drop your gun. I'll show you. Drop it. Don't drill me. Where'd you get them guns? They're all covered. Make a move and I'll let you have it. You busted my hand. Butch, Nate, get him. You get him. My hands hurt. You didn't suspect there might be guns in that box, did you? Well, you pack of rats, that's the time you got fooled. Come over close to me, Sally. I'll cut those ropes. Why didn't you bust that box and see if there was guns inside it? Shut up. I'll learn you, mister. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Got me in the leg, eh? Well, I draw the third shot from you. That'll fix you. Yeah, you will free, Sally. I'll take their guns. Three shots. That was a signal to bring your boss, wasn't it? Yeah, and when he comes, he'll come a-shooting. That's why I jumped you. 
I made you fire a third time. Drop him. So you're the boss. But I said drop the gun. Looks as if we had each other covered, doesn't it? Shoot him, boss. Shoot him. I will. fix him. The redskin. Good work, Tonto. The masked man. You here? Yes, we're here, Anson. Take charge, Captain Carter. No one has seen the plans. Dad. Are you all right, honey? Yes, yes, but what's that outfit for? What's that mask for? This outfit belongs to the man that's wearing my clothes. You see, Carter, they would have killed your daughter with their first shot if someone hadn't had guns here to hold their attention while you and Tonto closed in. They were watching for someone to come until I got my gun from your dispatch case. That isn't even my personal dispatch case, stranger. When I went back to the fort after I left you, I fixed up another one which could be open with the keys I gave you. Then I put your two guns in it. Look here. Who in thunder is the captain? I am. And you... I told you he wasn't my father, but you were too smart to believe it. You know who the man on the ground is, Captain? Yes. He was once an officer. He was forced to resign from the service for selling government secrets to our enemies. We couldn't get proof enough to court-martial him. Have you the proof you need now? There's no question about it. Sweet! Sick, there's soldiers coming now. This is a fine time to tell me when four folks are holding guns on me. Uh, they'll help me take the prisoners in, stranger. I thought you'd prefer it that way. I would. You, uh, you'd you sooner not unmask to go to the fort. I uh... I understand, Captain Carter, and appreciate your thoughtfulness. Uh, if you'll step outside with me, we'll change clothes again so my men will know who they're taking orders from. Very well. Take care, Tonto, that these men don't get the chance to make a break. Me want them close. There you are, boys. There are the prisoners. Five of them. And Father will be here as soon as... as soon as he gives the man his mask. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>